Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video, another encouraging word from God. Man, he seriously is stirring and exciting up my spirits like never before with this one. And I believe that the devil doesn't want many people to hear it because this is a word for many people to confirm what God has been saying to them. See, I've been trying to record this video a few different times now, and each time it keeps getting interrupted. Either somebody calls me, the phone freezes up, or something just messes up. This is telling me that the devil doesn't want this word to get out because it's going to increase many of those who hear it. So I need you guys to do me the biggest favor. Could you go ahead and share this video with some friends? It might be the very confirmation that they need that's going to help move them, push them along to the next step of increase that God has in their life. Okay, get ready for this. God began to tell me, get ready to do some multiplication. Get ready to do some multiplication. As God started saying that to me, I was a little bit confused and scratching my head. I'm like, God, you know I'm not good at math. You know the scores on my report card. I did not do good in math class growing up. Did you know that one of the very first commands given by God for you and I was when Adam and Eve were kicked out of the garden, he blessed them and he said, be, or go subdue the earth, be fruitful and multiply. One of God's original commands for you and I was to multiply, multitudes. This is big here, guys. Okay, let me break this down very elementary of kind of a little analogy he gave me. If you guys are anything like me, especially when it comes to numbers, I gotta kind of dumb it down a little bit. <laughs> he started to show me, think of it this way. If you were to take the number 10 and add another 10, you double it, what do you get? 20. Okay, very simple enough, right? And I know a lot of times we go through life and people are like, yeah, double your investment. Do what you can to double your investment. What if I told you that you are not meant to add? You're meant to multiply. Because if you take 10, multiply it by another 10, well, what do you get? 100. See, I don't know about you guys, but I'd much rather see or have the 100 than the 20. See, while the world teaches us to only double on our investments, God is teaching us to multiply all of our investments. And I'm not talking about just, uh, just earthly things here, guys. I'm talking about spiritual things. I'm talking about everything in your life. I'm talking about your family, your marriage, Man, your peace, your your joy, your love, your courage, your boldness, your power, also your finances, also your business, also your career, everything that you put your hands to, you are meant to multiply, multitude, greatly, exceedingly, and abundantly. A lot of times, we can have just such small-minded thinking, thinking, well, oh, I doubled, I doubled, that's all good. God is saying this to you and I right now. He is the one who adds. He adds on to you and I what we need. And then he's saying, now it's up to you to multiply it. You know, I think about the parable of ta the talents. And if you don't know this, there was three servants. The master was going away on the trip. So he gave each servant a specific amount of talents. He gave two of them a larger amount and one only one talent. Now, as he left for his trip, the two with the larger amounts took it and they multiplied the talents. While the one who was given the least amount, hear that clearly, the one who was given the least amount of talents buried it. When the master came back, he noticed that the other two, he said, okay, what did you guys do? The other two said, oh, we, we invested. Look what we did with the talents that you added unto us, that you provided, that you gave, you entrusted us with. We multiplied them. We uh, added more on too. He said, well done, good and faithful. He who's faithful and little can be ruler over much. Now come and celebrate with me. Now listen to what he said to the servant who buried the one talent. Again, who was given the least amount. There's a major lesson to learn here, guys. He said, you wicked and lazy servant. Ouch. <laughs> what have you been doing this entire time? See, I believe, and I'm guilty of this too, 
a lot of times we go to God and we say, God, add unto me more. Give unto me more. God, I need more finances. God, I need more influence. God, I need more of this, that, and the other. And a lot of times God is saying, well, how can I add more unto you when you haven't been faithful in multiplying the things I've added to you in the first place? He who is faithful and little can be trusted and ruler over much. See, right now, could you take an inventory of your life? Ask the Holy Spirit to give you some help. What are some things that you need to make sure that you are being faithful in to multiply? See, I want God to add unto me more and more, not for selfishness, but I want God to be able to use me to my max capacity, to my fullest potential, the way you and I were designed to, which was to, which his original command was to be fruitful and multiply. I want to tell you guys and encourage you right now. You have a great anointing on your life. You are a multiplier. Everything that you set your hands to, it shall multiply. I know right now that this is confirming in many of you, God has been tugging on your heart to go start that business. God has been tugging on your heart to go put in that application. God has been tugging on your heart to take a risk and do certain things. And as soon as you do it, as soon as you obey God, sure, it might look a little bit scary, but I truly believe he's going to bless you. He's already added certain things unto you and he's given you the anointing to take them and multiply them. Hey guys, listen, if this video blessed you, if it confirmed in your spirit, could you do me the biggest favor and hit that like button, type something, leave me something down in the comments, type down in there if you believe this, I'm a multiplier. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified for whenever I drop a new encouraging word from God. God has unleashed major blessings for you and I this year, but it takes us being so intentional to hear his voice, to receive wisdom, revelation, guidance, and clarity so we can walk in and encounter those very blessings. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Love you. And I'll see you in the next one.